back with another video. Wow, I'm really on a roll. <laughs> uh, and I have many more planned, but I wanted to get this one out as soon as possible because I posted a preview of this haul on my Instagram stories and a bunch of you messaged me being like, yes, please give us a video. So I really hope that this, you know, haul is a nice reprieve, a temporary relief, a uh, distraction from everything happening right now. So I'm just sharing with you a little bit of happiness, a little bit of cuteness, um, just because I want to make people happy right now. I have a huge box and I mean it's not that big and I just want to say <laughs> holy cow uh, when Japan stopped shipping to the United States I along with a lot of other people were like oh my god how am I gonna get my stuff over like it's gonna be stuck here for months and so I just want to say shout out I have a, an acquaintance I don't know if she's comfortable with me sharing her name um, just because she's not a shopping service but I do have a friend who had access to a military base in Japan and was able to do me a favor and I rerouted all of my things to her from my shopping service and she was able to ship this to me through USPS. <laughs> this like 15 pound big old box which would have cost me like 80 bucks to ship with like a private courier service like Yamato. Priority mail! <laughs> only cost $25. I still can't believe it. I'm incredibly fortunate that I was able to do that. The first thing that I got was from Maki Candy. I love Maki Candy stuff and she's the one who does the like dreaming tiny pets or tiny dreaming pets or something. I will link all the shops down below. That being said a lot of these items may not be available by the time you're watching this. But nevertheless, I'll put the shops at least um, down below. So I got a t-shirt. I got like a men's size medium. Wow, that's not helpful. A men's size medium in this and it says, happy birthday, best wishes to all of you. I don't care that it says happy birthday, I'm gonna wear this year round. It's just so cute and I am a big proponent in like if you're gonna have casual clothes, make them cute. Because if your casual clothes are cute, even your lazy days, you will be cute. The best part is I got this really large size so that it could fit me as my bump grows because I got a matching baby onesie. <laughs> I bought this like months ago and I am having a boy. I have my own little OG accessory on the way. Um, but I don't care because boys can wear cute things, excuse me, my boy is not going to be in like trucks and, and dinosaurs and, and, and stuff like that. He's going to be the cutest, like, god, so we can match. <laughs> I'm really excited. I want to buy like more like matching cute things. But last time I went on there, I didn't see like like baby stuff anymore. I did get a few things off of Mercari. One of them is a secondhand headdress veil thing um, because this shows you nothing. Um, but it's a really cute pretty veil from AP. A really weird thing is that the material on the head bow itself is kind of like I don't know if that tell you anything. But it's a little bit cheap. But eh, you probably can't tell when I'm wearing it. But the weird thing about this is that like there's two holes in the veil so like it like can come off. And I know that is cool because that means it's more versatile so that I can put it with any head bow I want. I could have worn it with like this head bow. But to me it like came separated and I was just like why is it not just attached? The second thing I got from Mercari is Daydream Carnival. Um, I was never like a super big fan of Daydream Carnival when it came out, but I've been liking it more and more recently. Um, especially now that I've been loving this like pink and blue thing going on. So I got this 
cut, um, which is probably the only cut I could get because everyone likes the other one with like the overlay, but I just don't care. I don't like it. I don't love it. Um, like, I'm not obsessed with the cut. I just like the print. Dude, this is like an incredible purchase because perfect condition, except that it's missing the like front, like bow clip button thing that goes around the waist here like if that makes sense at all it's missing something that goes here and because it's missing just this one little like ribbon bow thing i got it for like 150 dollars you guys daydream carnival in otherwise perfect condition for like 150 dollars purely because it was missing <laughs> this one little thing which honestly i don't care I could probably just put my own bow on it or just leave it like this. It's great. I love it. Even as I could put the back bow on the front. I do have to say though that I cannot wear it right now um, because my boobs have grown too much. Um, I barely fit myself into this dress as it is. I do not fit most of my Lolita wardrobe right now, which is a topic for another video. <laughs> Um, but, so I can't get myself into this if I wear a sports bra and once my husband comes home to help me, like, eh, I might be able to fit into it, but, like, I can't zip it up right now. Alright, um, I also got from Baby the Star Shrine Bright, I got this cardigan that I love. I think it came out with the ice cream collection, which... Um, I do have, but the reason I love this is, like, it has this, like, heart, not cut out, but, like, uh, whatever you want to call this, and, like, the inside is, like, blue polka dots, like, uh, the lace, if it wants to focus, has kumias on it, it has the bear, and it's so cute, and I love it, and I tried it on, hello, focus. And I tried it on with my, like, Maki Candy t-shirt. El Primo Kawaii Casual with, like, jeans or something. I love it. I am living for it. Next, I made an order from Ankh Rouge. I love Ankh Rouge and Liz Lisa stuff. And, <laughs> ironically, this is a collaboration with Maki Candy. Wow, go figure. Um, it's a jumper skirt that has these really cute bears like with like whipped cream and cherries and seashells and yes it is dreaming tiny pets it told me but you guys this doesn't even come close to fitting me right now like I'm gonna be so sad because it's like a good like four whole inches from being able to zip up in the back so I'm gonna have to uh, just hold on to it until I'm done having this baby and I'm done breastfeeding because eh. so the next thing I got from Anc Rouge is this blouse and it does come with like a neck ribbon bow but I can't really show that to you um you can tell that's very thin like you can see the tag through it this does fit for the most part if I wear a sports bra underneath um it's fine if I wear a regular bra underneath it kind of like pulls the buttons so with a sports bra and some like fashion tape in between the buttons this mostly fits uh which i think is weird that their dresses are so wow i'm losing this under the cloud again um <laughs> the the dress is so freaking tiny but their blouses always manage to fit me and i also got this blouse that i wore that i think that matches it's so cute um and this one is actually like a really thick almost like stretchy cotton that I really like with like this blue gray kind of ribbon um nothing really special in the front that came with well came with it was released with the Maki Candy jumper skirt again this fits me like there there it's fully buttoned I don't know what's up with the discrepancy in the sizing um the last thing I got from Oak Rouge is a skirt that I like I love skirts. If you know me, I only wear jeans on my super lazy days. <laughs> I hate pants. 
but this one is like this is about like I want to say this like solid part ends like just above my knees I want to say but I love this just like all these different layers of this like really dusty pink polka dot tool is so pretty and perfect for summer mm. Ooh, I forgot to show you I actually got this from the Maki candy store as well it is a dreamin' tiny pets Ooh, look you can see the reflection of my camera um bear <laughs> and it's an iphone 11 case it's super cute i will probably put it on my phone right now to show you if i can it smells like new plastic the only thing i have to say is it's like very like bright i wasn't expecting it to be like quite so neon almost but it's really like thin which to me is great you can't tell because it's not going to focus on that thin of an object up front but trust me it's a very thin case which i really like um i don't drop my phone usually um but if you're somebody who drops your phone a lot you know this is really thin like it doesn't even like cover the top at all but the last time that i looked where i bought this there were maybe like a dozen styles so you can basically get any phone size case you want and then the company just prints whatever you want on it so that's cool so it's not just iphone 11. um again i don't know if the products will still be on there by the time you watch this because i've been collecting these items for months over this like whole pandemic so if it's not there and you want it i'm sorry also i got this tote bag from emai kira um, I'm not gonna take it out of this bag just because it's it's a tote bag. Nothing on the back. That's more freaking cute. I love Imakira stuff. And yeah. I also got, I am so tired of saying I also got. But I also got from Lupicia. Lupicia? Lupicia? I don't know. Um, eh. Some damask rose. Jam, I freaking love this stuff. Um, <laughs> one of my best friends went to Japan last year and as a souvenir gift, she brought me back this little jar of Damask Rose Jam and it is so freaking good. It doesn't taste artificial. It has like chunks of rose petals in there, which you probably will not be able to see no matter how close I show this to you. But it's only like in the springtime and their like international site doesn't sell this and so I bought like two whole jars of this <gasps> yeah and that extra I imported jam from Japan last but not least I ordered from Meta and <laughs> and it is the like kitten tulip skirt which I am so in love with because it is that perfect like you can tell my style because of, like hockey candy right but this like perfect like retro design of like these little kittens and tulips and polka dots and it's so cute and I really debated between getting like the jumper skirt and the skirt but um not only did I think I was buying too much stuff that like I wouldn't be able to wear for a while <laughs> but also because it's just so retro and the skirt is just so simple that I can just wear this like normally as a non-lolita outfit and it will look completely normal just like slap on a petticoat and like a ponytail or something and it'll look really cute like it's just that simple and i love that versatility um the elastic is great <laughs> i love it um props to meta because they like i bought this literally <laughs> like the day before or the day of when japan announced that they were stopping shipping which was kind of sad um, but they immediately offered to hold any purchases until shipping resumes, which is fabulous. Because um, I know a lot of stores just aren't taking international orders anymore because of that. Um, but they are holding orders, so I initially had them hold it um, until shipping resumed. And then I just emailed them um, once my acquaintance was able to like <laughs> confirm that I can send her my stuff. And so I just emailed them and said, hey, can I just like use the shipping that I paid and like put it towards shipping it domestically and they're like oh yeah no problem blah 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 and they gave me a refund 
on like the excess shipping, which I was not expecting. I mean, it was only like five dollars, but that's fine. But also, I haven't bought from Meta in a really long time. Have they always let you return stuff? Like, I got this and you can return it within like three weeks. I mean, obviously I'm past that and I don't need to because I love it, but it has like a return form in here in English and in Japanese. That's incredible. Like, I didn't know that. Like, how long have they been doing this? <laughs> I feel so out of the loop. I haven't bought from Meta directly in years. But anyways, that's cool, I guess. I didn't know that they did returns. You know, AP and Baby don't do that. That's all the stuff I got. I have a whole nother package coming. So I'll have a whole nother, like, pandemic haul for you guys in another couple of weeks but yeah online shopping retail therapy kind of the only coping mechanism i have right now <laughs> i hope you enjoyed watching i hope it you discovered some new brands discovered a new fact about meta like i did or just had fun just looking at something that was happy and shallow <laughs> and carefree for a few minutes I will see you guys next time. Bye!